today I'm building Steph Curry's dream team. But his team starts out as all 40 overalls. Every year of Steph's career, I will spin from the upgrade wheel. The upgrade wheel has five tiers. And every three spins on the upgrade wheel will unlock a new tier. As the tiers go up, the chances of getting a superstar increase while the chances of getting a bum decrease. The goal is to win as many championships as possible within Steph Curry's career and go 82 and 0. Subscribe to the channel if you do. Also, check out my Twitch. I stream every weekday at 11 a.m. and follow me on Twitter. I tweet a lot about basketball. Let's go. Here we are on the Warriors. And here we have rookie Steph Curry, 83 overall, 19 years old. But obviously, the rest of the team has a lot of work to do. So let's see what the tier one wheel has to offer. We'll start with a starter. 81 to 85 overall. It's only a 10% chance to land on that. We're going to get a young player who can grow with Curry. And that's going to be a young Kobe Bryant. I was almost hesitant to take Kobe because I don't want him taking the shine away from Curry. But our goal is to build the best team possible for Curry to succeed in the league. So Kobe's a good start. And we want to pick young players because Curry's going to have a whole 20-year career here. So we got to get a lot of young guys. Let's see what Kobe and Curry can do. Luka win an MVP. We didn't win a single game, which makes sense. And look at that. Curry actually averaged more points than Kobe. So he's not taking the shine away from Curry. That's what I wanted. I want Curry to be the best player on this team. But obviously, if we, on, if we land on GOAT or something like that, then, you know, I, I might be running out of options. But we'll see. Kobe's now a higher overall than Curry. Okay, this is not what I wanted. I got to hope this doesn't become Kobe's team. Hopefully, he does it. But okay, we're getting a bench warmer now. Okay, 71 75. We got a real throwback pick here. We're going with Daryl Dawkins, a.k.a. Chocolate Thunder. The plan was to try to get a big setter who was young and could also set big screens for Curry to run around all game. And Dawkins is one of the few young centers in this game who has gold brick wall. So it seems like the perfect choice to pair up with Steph Curry. I got a lot of faith in this big three. Let's see what they do. John Morant with an MVP. And Steph Curry made All-NBA second team. That's a great sign. But again, we haven't won a single game, but we're just building that foundation. We're good. And Curry's still the man in this team dropping 33, 4, and 9. Well, let's hope it stays that way. Because again, this video is built around Curry. Don't want Kobe to take the shine. Tatum win finals MVP. Congrats to him. Dawkins up to a 77. Look at Kobe up to a 94. This man is really outshining Curry. At least not on the court, though, but overall wise. But let's go ahead and see our final spin of the tier one. Well, we got another starter. Okay, we are building a god squad to start this off. Well, God squad, let's be okay. Not crazy, guys. You get the point. And with our final pick of the tier one wheel, we're going to be taking a young Scotty Pippen. I don't really want Curry to have the ball in his hands like that. We need that point forward, kind of that Draymond role. But I don't want to take Draymond out because he's like over 30 years old. He's just too old. And with Scotty Pippen being one of the best point forwards of all time, it feels like a perfect fit. This team might actually win a game. Let's see. John Morant win another MVP. And Steph Curry made all NBA first team. He's hooping. But we obviously have no bench, but we'll take eight wins. That's not bad at all. Kobe outscored Kobe, but Curry averaged 11 assists a game. I don't want the ball in his hands that much. Scotty Pippen only Average four assists the game. We got to put the ball in his hands more somehow. I guess we'll have to see what happens, but the Grizzlies win the championship. Ja get an MVP and a ring. Well, Kobe's still our best player, and Curry's a 95. I feel like the tier one wheel treated us right, but now we're on to the tier two where we got a starter. 81 to 85. Okay, let's get We got to get a power forward. We need some floor spacing and scoring that's going to take the pressure off Curry and Kobe. Let's get LaMarcus Aldridge. He's only 24 years old here, and I was debating on whether we needed a big man to defend or really score, and there's just not a lot of big men who play defense and shoot threes and can set great screens at an 81 to 85 overall. So I think LA's going to be the perfect versatile big man we need. We got ourselves a real team here. Just got to fill out that bench. John Moran with three straight MVPs. Steph Curry on second team. And we're doing a lot better. 19 wins. Kobe's averaging 0.1 more points than Curry. But damn, Curry's dropping 12 and a half assists. And LA's giving us that scoring and rebounding we need. And the Cavs win the championship. Darius Garland dropping 30 and 12. I got to say, these wheel spins have been very kind to us. What do we got next? Okay, a bench. Well, that's more realistic here for the tier two wheel. I got a very strange pick here. We're going with Malik Rose. The bench doesn't really have an identity yet. And I'm not really going to get it with the 75 overall probably and i'm only picking malik rose because i remember him going to a sixers camp and i was in like seventh grade so i'm just gonna go with him not really sure what he's good at but i guess we'll figure it out let's see if malik rose can carry the bench shay grabbing an mvp we got curry on third team and malik rose didn't help that much we won 20 games i think that was one more game than we won last year but curry had a great year drop at 29 and 12 and malik rose gave us five points a game on 27 percent shooting this might be the worst pickup of all time and the thunder win it all shay getting an mvp and a ring this man kobe's a 98 overall and curry's a 96 and here's our final spin of the tier two where we're going to get a star or a bench warmer? Okay, well, that's just unfortunate. We're going to pick an NBA champion with this next one. Let's take Christian Brown. I was thinking of getting someone to run the second unit, but I don't think a 75 overall is going to be able to do that. So we're going to take a guy who's a good shooter, good defender, and just young and can run. We're going to run a seven-man rotation now. No point in playing the box. And Christian went down one overall because I moved him to the two. John with another MVP. Steph Curry's now on first team. And I'm surprised we couldn't at least make the playing tournament. We won 33 games, though. Our next big fix is getting someone who can run that second unit. We got to get that. But I mean, Curry's been killing him, man. 31 points, four I don't want the ball in his hands that much, but he, he's just doing it. We got Curry playing like prime hard, and the Hawks win the championships. Luka finals MVP. Guess Hawks fans got what they wanted. Kobe's officially a 99 overall, and Curry's a 97. And Scotty Aldridge and Dawkins have stayed stagnant. We got to do something about that. And we should be able to with now getting our first spin of the tier three. Well, we got ourselves a superstar. Okay, there we go. And we're going to be taking the all time version of Jokic, who's a 93 overall. And my goal is to get the ball out of Curry's hands. I don't want to put that much pressure on him to facilitate the offense. And what better way to take the pressure off than getting the best pass? passing big man in NBA history. And Dawkins, you've been amazing, but it's time for you to slide onto the 
bench, we got Jokic in the starting lineup. And even playing with Kobe and Jokic, Curry still win an MVP. And he's still getting 12 assists. What else do I got to do to get Curry to not have the ball in his hand? We're the one seed winning 61 game. And here's the stats of the rest of the team with Jokic dropping a triple double. Oh my God. We got a very close game seven in the conference finals. They're running some pin down screens here. Oh God, Giddy wide open. Okay, we might need to make some adjustments there with the next tier guy we get. Kobe trying to drive to the basket here. All right, good shot, Kobe. Brandon Miller trying to drive. Scotty playing great defense. No way. Hell no. Great defense from Scotty Pippen. Let's hope Kobe can make both of these free throws. Here's the second one, and he got it. Okay, we're up four. Pippen playing some great defense there. Just no threes, and we're good. No threes. And oh, my God. Scotty is locking Brandon Miller. Oh, my God. Look at the defense. Oh, you got to get the board, though. Got to get the board. But oh, great defense from Scotty Pippen. I think our defense definitely lacks in some spots, but their best player is Brandon Miller, and Scotty's doing a phenomenal job. So we just booked our trip to the NBA Finals. Shout out to Kobe with 32 and 11. And we're taking on a Bucks team in the Finals that don't have Giannis. And Steph Curry's first ring has been secured. Well, we got our first ring, but the goal is to win as many championships as possible so Steph Curry can rise to the occasion with his dream team. Oh, they gave the Finals MVP to Jokic. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna win it. Jokic averaged 24, 13, and 12. Yeah, it's kind of hard to not give the man the award. But again, this is a Curry video. We're trying to get Curry as many championships as possible. We don't care about Jokic. Does. Let's see if we can keep filling up that bench or even get ourselves a new starter here. Okay, 81 to 85 overall player. We need someone who's going to run the second unit. Let's bring in Jamal Murray. Surprisingly, still only an 84 overall in 2K. But we all saw what this man did in the playoffs, man. He is a game changer. So he's going to come off the bench, hit some shots, make some plays for others. He can do it all, man. And he obviously has chemistry with Jokic, so that works too. Let's see how Jamal Murray does. Victor win an MVP. And we only won 56 games. This makes no sense. I don't know how Curry's still dropping 10 assists a game, but congrats to him. And look at Murray giving us 14 points a game, 5 assists, shooting 38% from 3 not bad at all. And we had a solid playoff run, but we're going to fall in the second round versus the Thunder. And it looks like nobody took initiative in this game. Nobody's scoring over 20. Maybe because I've been trying so hard to take the ball out of Curry's hands because I want to put that pressure on that. I've actually created too many playmakers on the team, and now nobody knows who wants to score. So, okay, it's getting kind of difficult. I don't know why Jokic went down one overall, but okay. And here is our final spin of the tier three. We're going to get... Oh, we almost got a go, bro. Okay. Well, I guess we're getting a role player. This team needs some grit and grind defense. Let's pick up Tony Allen. Now, he is a little old, and that is a problem. But we're moving on to the tier four wheel next, so we'll probably be able to replace him in a couple of years, so I think we'll be fine. But to win a championship right now, we need this man's defense. Let's see if Tony Allen can bring some energy. Bronny, I don't know where win an MVP. I don't know how this team is the sixth seed. At this point, we're a god squad. And even the stats back it up. Three guys averaging 20, two guys almost averaging 10 assists. What else could you want? And we're about to get gentlemen swept by a Portland team. Okay. This is not looking good on the Steph Curry resume right now. Now. I mean, he was dropping 30 a game, shooting 55%. I, I don't know what else you expect from this team. Like, they're all putting up amazing... That Portland team won the championship. Okay, so I guess they lost to the NBA champ. I'm not really sure who to blame here. Like, there's just nobody to actually blame. But now we're on to the tier four. Let's go ahead and try to get some go to... Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> that was... Great timing. Got ourselves a go. There's obviously a lot of all-time greats better than this guy. But I want a grit and grind go. Give me Kevin Garnett. The power forward spot is probably our weakest right now. And Garnett brings everything we need. If this team can't win a championship, I don't know what will. Victor with another MVP. How are we not the one seed? I just don't know what else to ask from anybody on this team. Everyone's playing great. And we just made our way through the Western Conference and now play the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. Who have Ben Simmons, Brandon Miller, and Trey Young. Okay. We actually might lose here in Game 7. Brandon Miller driving. Dives at the bend. Ben kicks it to Davis, Davis for three. And that's the dagger. Brandon Miller dropped 45 on us. Like, what are we supposed to do? Why did KG go down to overalls, man? 2K is so confusing. This man's right in the midst of his prime. But I guess I got to find a Brandon Miller stopper because clearly it's not Scotty Pippen. We got a starter. Let's grab another bucket, get her off the bench. Let's bring in Tyler Hero. Kind of a biased pick here because I'm a Heat fan. But Jamal Murray has way too much pressure on him off the bench to do all the scoring. So being able to put the ball in Tyler Hero's hands as well is going to help out a lot. This bench actually low-key needs some defense. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, Tyler's still a good pick. Victor's still doing his thing. How is Victor alone beating more games than us? And we just have, you know, Steph Curry, Kobe, Jokic, Garnett. Okay, Tally here is kind of a stress. Scotty Pippen, you know, nothing crazy. And of course, we're in a game seven in the conference finals versus Victor. Victor going to work on KG here, spinning, going up. That's great defense. Oh, we got, we got a rebound. We got, we got a rebound, KG. Curry trying to drive here, floater. Got it. Big bucket to put us up five. They're going back to Victor in the post yet again. Victor, put no way. Okay, I was about to say, that would have been nasty. And we'll be making our third finals appearance. I mean, like, like, look how good we're playing, bro. I don't know what else to do. Even Tyler gave us 16. And we're back playing the Heat in the finals. We got to find a way to stop Brandon Miller. And we somehow find ourselves in the same exact situation as the last time we played the Heat. Murray trying to come up the screen here, trying to drive, step back, pump fake, midi. What a shot from Jamal Murray. Ice in his veins. 
Oh, what a steal from KG. Curry trying to drive. Kick it out. Jokic, three ball. Got it. Okay, all right. We're right there. Three-point game. Come on. We're not We're not going to blow this one. Brandon Miller trying to dance. Trying to get by KG. Oh, he smoked it. Get the ball. Curry trying to drive. Oh, okay. No, kick it out. Kick it out. Kick it out. Get it out. Get it out. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Stop. 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 Please stop. Please stop. Oh, you got so bailed. Oh, my God. The, the, the refs are on payroll, bro. Oh, my God. Brandon Miller trying to dance on KG. No, no, no. You don't have to double team. Oh, my God. We got bailed. Eight seconds left. Curry, what will you do for this championship? Five seconds. Drive it on Ty Ty. Hop, step, play. Curry got it. Okay. One stop. One stop. One stop. One stop. One stop. Brandon Miller getting double team. Please, nobody be wide open. Oh, my God. He missed it. Rebound. Get it. Get the ball. Oh, what a rebound. Come on, Kobe. This is your time. Clutch free throws, baby. There we go. Here we go. Ty Ty, deep three. Air ball rebound, Scotty. What a comeback, man. And that was a lot of that was Steph, man. He played that final minute and a half perfectly. What a ring for Steph. By the way, they also came down 3-1. I don't know how they got down 3-1 to Brandon Miller, but they did. And look at Steph Curry getting finals MVP. Well deserved. He was a big reason we won that game right there. Shout out to Brandon Miller, bro. 41-11-7 in a game 7. This was not your fault, man. Curry dropped 25-7. Solid finals run. Team still looking good. Here is our final spin of the tier for Will. We got a superstar. Okay, we got to upgrade. I don't know what we're going to upgrade here, actually. I wanted to do my best to find a 3 and D superstar, and that's going to be a young Kawhi Leonard. We already have guys in the starting lineup who are going to have the ball in their hands. Curry, Kobe, Jokic, even KG. When I first picked up Scottie Pippen, that was for playmaking, but we don't need his playmaking anymore. And he doesn't need the ball in his hands, and when he does, he doesn't play around. It's one to two dribbles, gets to his mid-range, he doesn't play around. So now we have Kawhi starting, and we also brought some great defense to the bench. Victor with like five MVPs, and it's about time with the first seed, but I'm not sure if we're ever going to go 82 and 0. I hope so. Curry's still leading us in scoring, so that's good. And Kawhi only gave us six points a game, but 56% shooting and 40% from three. I'm not mad at all. Why are we in a game seven in the second round? DJ trying to drive with the ball here. We're only up one right now. DJ throws it down. Are we actually going to lose to the Rockets here? This is to go to the conference finals. Jokic with the ball. Contested midi. Missed it. And we're, we're going to lose. That, that's going to be it. I mean, nobody really played bad here. I guess Jokic shooting one for seven from three. I guess that kind of did it. But it doesn't matter. We stick in the heat. Of course, when we leave, Brandon Miller just gets himself another ring. Kawhi went up two overall. And here goes our first spin on the tier five wheel. We got ourselves a superstar. We're going to lose some of the playmaking Jokic brings to the starting lineup, but let's bring in a young Shaq. Obviously, one of the most dominant big men of all time, and he's going to set some big body screens for Steph Curry off the ball. We got ourselves a pretty deadly starting five here. How did Steph Curry win an MVP on this team? I mean, they won 71 games, but that's got to be the fakest MVP ever. You just shouldn't win that award with a stacked team like this with Tyler Hero, bro. It's just not fair. And we're back in the finals versus, you guessed it, the Miami Heat. This man, Brandon Miller, will stop at nothing to get his next ring. And we find ourselves yet again in a game seven versus the Heat. No matter who we add to this team it doesn't matter brandon miller is gonna find a way to keep this series close kg going to work kg got it to go with a shot oh my god grady dick oh my god grady dick nine seconds left here game seven of the final steph curry trying to drive it is not there bro you gotta do something four seconds steph to kg two seconds left to kobe to Kawhi. And he wins the championship with 0.2 seconds left. Kawhi Leonard hits another big time shot to rip the hearts out of the Miami Heat. Getting bailed, or he bailed out Steph Curry. Wow, what a win, man. I guess that Kawhi pickup was pretty good. Just hit the biggest shot in NBA history, that's all. We are now down to two spins left on the Tier 5, where we got ourselves another superstar. We're going to bring some instant offense to the bench. Let's bring in Allen Iverson. I think our best scorer at the guard position right now is Tyler Hero off the bench, so AI is going to be obviously a big upgrade. And it looks like AI is going to be our sixth man. What a great spot. Isaiah Collier grabbing an MVP. And we won 76 games. Hopefully that last Tier 5 wheel spin is going to be good for us. Here's the team stats as well. AI dropping only 15 points a game, which makes sense. And we breezed our way through the playoffs to now meet the Sixers in the finals, who have Ian Jackson and Bronny as their best players. And we finally play in the finals where we blow a team out the water. Steph got the finals MVP, forgot the show, but he only had 9 points in this game. And he only averaged 17 on the series, but he had 11 assists. And here is our final spin of the Tier 5 where we got a superstar. Okay. And my final pick is going to be Anthony Davis. Him and Jokic are going to be a nasty front court off the bench, so that's probably my main reason why. It also brings up some great defense off the bench as well. So here's the final full time we're running with. Curry, Kobe, Kawhi, K G, Shaq, AD, Jokic, Iverson, Hero, and Scotty Pippen. Victor's still going crazy. How do we not win at least 70 games with this team? I don't know, man, but it is what it is. And we nearly swept our way to the finals where we're going to play the Wizards. We'll have a 96 overall and an 88. And we're actually about to lose this series down 3 2. Steph trying to drive here, trying to save his legacy. Steph looking for an angle, kicks out the Jokic. Jokic mini missed it. What a terrible shot. Gotta get a shot up, guys. Hello, what's happening? Hello, Kawhi in the corner. 
It's all if you're not bailing us out this time, and that's going to do it. It is actually insane how we lose series. I don't get it. There's just too many guys who want the ball, I guess. I, I don't know what to call it. So now we're done with all the tier wheel spins. I'm going to sim to the end of Steph's career. Obviously, if we go 82-0, I'm going to let you know. And we'll go over all of his stats in a second. So let's go. And after 21 years, Steph Curry is finally retired. I'll say real quick, they never went 82-0. The closest they got, though, was 77-5. and That was it. But Curry, for his career, averaged 26 points, 10 assists, and 4 rebounds. Not bad at all. He was a 3-time MVP, an 8-time MVP. NBA champion, a 16-time All-Star, and made first team six times. Steph Curry's right ahead of Brandon Miller for first in scoring. First in three-pointers with 8,000. First in assists with 17,000. Third in steals with 3,000. And he had the most turnovers. Thanks for watching me build Steph Curry's dream team. Comment below who you would want to see next. Goodbye.